Welcome to Benry Strap series of videos on the different types of straps which we make and sell. For each strap we will discuss the advantages and its disadvantages, the usual ways it's used and this will enable you to make the right decision over which strap is right for you. This particular strap is a hook and loop cinch strap. On one end you have the hard scratchy material running down the length of it, you have the soft velvety loop material and on the far end you have a securing buckle. Usually this is a plastic ring but it can be substituted for example by a metal ring or a different type of buckle as we will explain later. This type of strap is very easy to use. Simply insert the hook bit through the ring, fold back, press down to secure and there you have it. Now this is called a cinch strap because this folding back action through the ring is called a cinching action and this makes for a very strong bond because the sort of reversing action dissipates the force and it means that the hook and loops will stay together for longer. Now, this is the particular advantage of these straps. They are very strong compared to other hook and loop straps. Apart from the strength of the bond, the other advantage of this strap is that they're simply very common. They're used widely throughout industry. So readily available. They're available in a wide range of colours. You can have them with different colours. So it's normally a black loop material with different coloured ends. You can then use these different colours to indicate different products or you can use them to indicate different lengths of strap. Another advantage of this design is that all the hooks are mated up with the loop material. Now the hooks can cause problems over time because they can attack debris, they can attract dirt and they can scratch soft materials and scuff them. But with this strap they're all safely hidden away. With a light coloured end like this you then have a smooth end on the top and you can obviously write on this with a marker pen so you could indicate what's strapped up, what's in a box that's been strapped up. You can use them to indicate different colour, you can use them to indicate different lengths of strap. So this is 25 centimetres long, it's blue, you could then get 50 centimetres run to the yellow end and when you're looking around you know how long each strap is by the different colours. This is a fairly common usage in practice. The main disadvantage of this strap is as you can see on one end we have the plastic buckle and on the other end we have the hook material. This means you can't actually adjust the length of the strap. If you find it's too long you have to find a shorter one. If it's too short on the other hand if you find that these straps are too short you can of course join them together. So you simply insert the end of one strap into the ring, fold back to secure and then you can double it through, pull back to secure and the result is one long strong strap. I will now illustrate the use of this strap with a roll mat. With the roll mat you simply lift the end up, slide the strap through You keep the flat face of the strap against the row mat, insert the end through the ring, pull back to secure. I will now illustrate the range of colours available with these cinch straps. So there's red, there's yellow, there's a the plain black strap, there's a bright blue, a navy blue and a white. So there's a strap all in yellow, all in green, all in black, all in red, all in blue and all in white. However, the range can Cinch straps are deservedly popular and as a result there are a number of specialist straps available. This particular one has got a side release buckle on the end. The advantage of this is it makes removing the strap simpler. Normally with the hook and loop cinch strap you fold it round, you fold it round and you've got a nice strap and to remove you, you simply undo the hook and loop pull back through. 
Now if you have a very long strap for example, that can be awkward and it can also be quite time consuming. With the side race buckle at the end, you just unhook and it's done. The next hook and loop strap is very simple, it's a normal hook and loop strap except as you can see by the metallic colours, it's got two eyelets on it. These simply provide a quick and secure way of screwing the strap to a wall. So for example, if you're using it for cabling, you can screw the strap to the wall, you can attach the cables and they will come there quite safely. The next hook and loop strap looks quite normal from this side, but if you turn it over, you'll see it's very, very shiny. This is a, an anti-slip coating. And this is especially useful when these straps are used to attach batteries where they don't want things moving around because it may dislodge the electrical connections. The final one we have is an elastic hook and loop cinch strap. This looks like a normal hook and loop cinch strap, but as you can see, it's stretchy. So you can attach it as normal. Because this is a knitted elastic, the hooks will stick to it but it is also stretchy and can expand.